Okay. Welcome back. This message is for Pisces. Now, is it only me or I've been, or my guy's been like pressing me to get some rest? Because I be fighting it. It takes me a lot to go to sleep. And my guy's be forcing me to go to sleep. Okay. Because not only do I got work to do on the physical, I mean, I got work to do in the dream state. Like, I be tired. Let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, God's universe, ancestors of the highest my life. Please give me clear, precise messages for Pisces. Okay. Only take messages that resonate, okay? You will know intuitively. Do not try to force any messages. Pisces, let's see. So we got the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So someone wants to know why you're still holding back from him. Okay. Someone is still like holding on to you. But you could be holding back from this person. They're trying to wonder why. Trying to figure out why you're still holding back from him. Yeah, the um justice and the five of swords. Okay. Why is this trying to force him? The four swords. Yeah, if someone wants to balance out the scales, but you're still not talking to this person. Or you still haven't reached out to this person. Y'all could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini Libra, Aquarius, or Kansas Scorpio Pisces. Give me more. Yeah, the six of swords. Someone wants to travel towards you. For some of you, this person wants to relocate. Okay, to where you are, this is six of swords. Yeah, the eight of swords, but they're in their head. Ten of pentacles in the tower, king of swords, queen of wands, nine of pentacles. This person is trying to wonder why you're still emotionally closed off to them after they already spoke their truth. He okay, Pisces. Five of Wands. Someone can feel like something is done out of spite, like you're doing something out of spite or something like that. Not talking to them. They really want to travel towards you guys, but you guys are like um, keeping this person in their head. This person is trying to figure out like why you guys. It's like, I don't know. What's this Eight of Swords? It is protected though with this person. What's this eight of swords? We got the eight of ones. I'm telling you, this person wants to talk to you. I guess because this person already caused so much damage in the connection, they don't they're not gonna reach out to you. 313, which I don't understand why. Yeah, the king and the queen of pentacles. That's because this person probably was like um making you out to be someone that you're not or something like that. Because in this Queen of Pentacles in this deck, it's like she's holding on to a mirror that's a pentacle. 1333. So this person probably always had you second guessing yourself or your self-worth. This person always had you like trying to figure out if you're worthy enough for them. Or this person might have felt, felt as though they deserve you. So that's why they just stay in that energy. What's this eight of wands? Yeah, I told you this person felt like they didn't deserve you. That's why they stayed in this energy. Yeah, the hurt from, I'm telling you, y'all person needs to get out of their feelings. Like real shit. Look, Spirit say that's the truth. <laughs> this person, yeah, who? This king of enemies. This person is calling you and manifesting you. Because they're trying to figure out, like, why you still haven't reached out after they severed hand told you telepathically what it is. You want to hear from this person's own mouth. You like, stop telling me shit spiritually or telepathically and tell me with your own damn mouth. Okay, I'm sorry to come off like that, but that's how it's going to be eventually. Because y'all will be like, okay, you keep telling me and saying that you want me, Pisces, or vice versa, or whatever the case may be, but you're not doing nothing about it. And I feel like the feminists ain't reaching out because they already did enough. That's why spirit is not letting the feminists reach out. It's up to these masculines at the end of the day to reach out. Okay? Because they're the reason why things are at a stalemate. 
Because for some of you, you're always the one that's reaching out with the six of swords. Like you always get that communication of being guided to this person or just going to this person. Even if this person was reaching out to you or however it was, it really don't matter at this point. Okay, just get the point or whatever the case may be. It's like you're not the one that owes an apology. I mean, it don't freaking matter. I don't know. Like somebody need to do something. I'm telling you. It's like you're being on reserve with the tempers and the queen of pentacles, three of pentacles. Because you're always the one making amends. Or you're always like the peacemaker or something like that. Like, yeah, this person got to step the fuck up. Just put it. All right, Pisces. Spirit on your ass. Well, actually, the most high on your ass. Because you saying one thing and you still sitting up here sulking in your freaking feelings and emotions and shit. Hold it back. A message that you want to send to somebody, but you still ain't send it. If you're one, I'm telling you, hold on. Just, yeah, somebody think that you're not going to respond or you're not going to get it. Okay, so for some of you, if this person has been sending you messages, they probably have been blocked. Like whatever form of communication that this person been wanting to say to you or tell you, whatever, it's probably been blocked. So if you've been having issues with communication, We had the sun, the knight of cups, the lovers, and the knight of pentacles. This person be watching you. No matter of fact, keep it tabs on you. Or this person just want to talk to you. That's what I'm saying. They just hold it back to a message that they want to send you, but they ain't sending it. What's this four wands? The ace of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody see takes you seriously, and that's what they see. That you're not playing, that you're dead serious about them. But what are they? What are they showing you, Pisces? Did they show you anything yet? The strength, the two of cups, the nine of pentacles, and the seven of cups, and the queen of cups, and the king of cups with the ten of cups, the high priestess, the ten of pentacles. So what I'm getting is, you know, this person sees you as their everything, Pisces. This is you. You already know telepathically who this person is. And now we got the queen of cups and the seven of cups. But it's like, why are you having to, like, once again, I said this in um, Sagittarius or Libra, go through hoops and loops just for somebody to prove their love to you. I don't understand. Yeah, and this person is longing for you. This person know you're single. This person know you're not dealing with nobody, interacting with nobody. But the thing is, it's like, this person always wants you to be the peacemaker. Okay? Because I guess this person feels more comfortable or they feel like they're more under control. <laughs> the head, this y'all person for real. When you when when you reach out or when you say, cause it just give them that re. I don't know y'all person. The way they want reassurance is kind of like not the normal. It's like it's not normal. Just I said, y'all person ain't normal. Just pretty. If y'all thought y'all person was normal, they're not. Like they're not. Okay. And it's like, you're the only one that tamed this person. Look, the Empress and the Will of Fortune. As I said, this connection between you and this person is protected, it's faded, it's destined. But it's like, ooh, y'all got to Y'all got a mean one on y'all hands, huh? Okay. What's this stroke called? This could be a Leo, a Cancer, a Libra. We got heavy Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces on here. The High Priestess again. Then we got the Star card. What's the, uh, the Hangman? Yeah, I'm telling you, this person was specially crafted, specially hand, handmade for you. How can I make this up? Cause it's like no matter if y'all walk away from this person or emotionally detached, you feel like you're missing something, or you feel like something's missing with this five of cups. <clears throat> What's this eight of cups? Thing is, what I'm telling you. It's like someone just someone doesn't want to fight or argue. They just want peace.
Why does husband think the collective want to argue? The moon. Because they got secrets? Or oh, because they feel like you got secrets? Yeah, it's a third party, king of wands, five of wands. Queen of Pentacles. You're the queen of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this person didn't know who was who because they was around a fake empress or something like that. We got the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was always doing work. Somebody's putting stuff in this man's food, drinks, and some more shit. That's why this person couldn't see who the fuck the real empress is. Excuse my language. Because look, I told you on this queen of Pentacles, you see? Her Pentacles are birds. So someone was trying to pretend to be you. Oh, it don't really matter. I don't know what's up with these people. What's this King of Swords? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. They want to apologize. Cause they can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, the sun. This person is obsessed with you. And they want to make a move on you. Okay, this person is still nervous. It's there. They got to face their fears. That's what that is. But they stay constantly watching your pictures, your vote, your photos, your photos, your photos, and your videos. Okay, it's literally like this. This is three pentacles. For some of you, this person has it on repeat. You're like a melody in this person's head; they can't get out. Yeah, the magician. This person could be doing picture magic on you. If somebody doing picture magic on you, they want to look just like you, act like you, sound like you, talk like you, walk like you, smell like you. Shit, if they had a chance to, they would even learn how to fuck like you. I'm telling you, somebody just want to be you so bad. I don't understand. Oh, Pisces. What's this magician? The Ace of Wands. When this devil card come out in this person's energy, this person is not toxic, okay? It's just this person. It's how they're... Okay, if y'all was watching... Sagittarius and Libra, you will understand more on y'all person. Twelve, twelve. Because I know when we see the devil, people be so quick to say, "Oh, your person is a narcissist. Oh, your person is controlling. Oh, your person is a demon. Your person is a devil." Until you understand who your person is, you will not be afraid of them. We got the Ace of Swords, yeah. Okay. But that don't mean go reaching out to him. Y'all got to do more uh, going within to see who your person is. Because this message is not for everybody. And that's the truth, though. So. Because I don't want nobody to sit up here and feel like that they're being guided to reach out to their person. And no. Because some of y'all, y'all person is toxic. Just period. Okay. And there's nothing you can do. But for some of you. This person is taking the time out to heal because they know they need to heal. It's like this person be around bad influences at a certain... Like, because you could be grown as fuck and still be around people that's no good for you. That's bad influences that lead you down the wrong road, wrong path, and then you wonder why you caught up in all this shit. That's what this person is going through. That's why this devil called here because this person let... The fast life consume them. That's it, and that's all. 1333. Now, for some of you, your person is just straight toxic, okay? Like, just straight. Straight up toxic. They don't, they don't care who they fuck, who they suck. They don't care none of that. Like, somebody just like that lifestyle. And then on top of that, like, once you get to know who your person is, it'll give them more clarity on who they is. Okay, because for some of you, you're having to help your person reprogram their mind. That's a part of y'all um, calling. So not only do you got your own um, mission, you got to help this person. 14, 14, whether y'all together at a distance, it don't really matter. I'm telling you, look, your emperor. As I said, for some of you, your person is not toxic. For some of you, your person is understanding more who they are like they're learning who they are because they're trying to make sense of why they act this way and do this and do that and blah 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 this person is now trying to like reassess that okay and they can stimulate from childhood but i don't see the six of cups out here it's just i feel like it's the company that this person was around that caused them to like go down this road. Okay, full of um being 
Uh, what is it called? I can't even get it out. Just being in that devil energy. Getting on this king of swords. Yeah, now here go the six of cups. I'm telling you, it stimulates from childhood. So this person is always known from being around the wrong crowd of people. The wrong crowd of people, like the wrong people. Here we go with the queen of swords. This person also loves the fact that you understand them. See, that's the thing. You're the only person that can understand them and get them and make sense out of things. Other people will not. Probably other people will like guilt trip this person, play on this person's vulnerability. They will also like downplay this mess. And that's what I'm saying. It's like because people can tell and see who you are. Like this person only became the king of swords because if this person be the king of cups, too emotional, they already know people going to move all over them. Like 1555. So this person is being in the best comfortable energy that they can. So they feel like being in the king of swords, being nonchalant or being, um, <clears throat> yeah, just being in the king of swords, very cold, detached, distance, nonchalant. Then this person feel like that's what's best for them. 16, 16, but they gave you something else. They gave you the king of cups. That's what I said. You know this person real them. It's just these people that this person be around or influenced by or just the company they keep, their environment, their, and they see this person as the king of swords because this person been like this since they were a child, okay? Like, this person had to, like, almost raise their self is the energy I'm getting. As I say, y'all know y'all person. Like, ain't no if, ass, buts, about it. Y'all know who y'all person is. It's just because your person been in the streets for so long and was raised that way. That's how they were supposed. That's how they supposed to be. Cold. Knowing down where this person needs somebody to love. Knowing down where this person want to lay up and hug somebody every night. Hear somebody tell them that they love them, in love with them, want to be with them, want to protect them, want to. Like I'm telling you, that's what this person is. A big ass teddy bear. As I said, don't looks can be deceiving. Please don't let the looks fool you. Man. Big judgment. I'm telling you. And we got the emperor at the bottom of the deck with this king of wands, six of cups, eight of cups in the world. Yeah. Somebody you know is you that they need in their life. It's just the love that you give. Like you give love carelessly and freely. Like because when it's true love or when it's unconditional love, it comes with no conditions. That's all. Like love is supposed to freely flow. It's not supposed to be controlled, concealed, and like taken advantage of. Like I don't understand people. When they think that love is supposed to, like, be hard. Love is not even that hard or that difficult. Hey, look, the two of wands, the hangman, the cherry. Here we go again. I'm telling you, this person is a beast. That's why I said they're like a um, a demigod, like half human, half angel, something like that. Like half human. Okay, just look it up. It's like half human, half the... Fuck it. I'm not about to keep explaining myself. 18, 18. Just look it up and see what it is. Okay, two is full, seven is full, five a penny. I just feel like this person don't like to like be the one to admit what they have done. Like this person always was used to like brushing, like brushing shit off or throwing shit up under the rug and stuff like that. Because it's like this person is used to doing this. This is a behavior this person got to get out of. That's what I say. Y'all got to shake this person's behavior like the, out of this shit. So whereas though they don't always feel as though it's supposed to be you to reach out and say something and apologize. No, this person got to realize a uh, man up or woman up or whatever the case may be. And like really let you know what it is. Even though this person can say you know what it is. See, this person thinks because y'all got a telepathic connection that you're supposed to automatically know. 1919. That's what this person, spirit guys, is breaking them out of. That trying to, like, be so arrogant or egotistical or cocky or whatever the case may be that you feel like that you don't got it, like, that you don't owe nobody nothing. That's what I'm saying. This person feel like they don't owe nobody shit. Which nobody should feel as though they owe anybody anything. But you can't do that when it becomes your counterpart. Because if you want to heal and you want to work things out with this person, you got to, like, somewhere meet this person halfway. It can't just be this person giving their all. Like, some of you guys are extending yourself a little bit too much. That's why if you paid attention to the, the first few readings I did, Divine Feminist, y'all was putting y'all foot down. 
That's why I said it's now time for these masters to step up to the plate. Ain't nobody about to keep chasing after them and kissing their ass. Who the fuck they think this is? Or what they think this is? Like, they got to realize, put that sucking shit to the side and realize, stand the fuck up and say something. Okay? But I bet you when they outside kicking it with their homeboys, 2022, or with them fraudulent ass females, they, they sitting up here, big bad buff and this, then the third. Stop what you doing now. Stop what you doing. <laughs> it's always like that. It's always like that. These masculines. Like they can show, they can tell everybody, they can show the world who they got when they're around people. But when it comes to a divine connection, this person is like froze, closed off, afraid. That's why I said this person is having to make a shift when it comes to their own confidence, their own strength, their own reassurance. Okay? Taking action on what they're passionate about. Because this person say they're passionate about you. And there's a lot of love here. That's why I said this love is sent from the divine. Okay? It's just if this person is willing to go about things differently. Because not only you are changing, this person has to change as well. At least you can admit and accept the fact that you know you need to change. That's the thing. Some of the stuff y'all already told these masculines, that's the thing. Y'all you're just waiting on them. And then it's like, at this point, the more that y'all keep sitting around waiting on them just to say something so simple or just to, like, do what they say that they feel or they know they want to do, it's just called stagnation. That's why I said keep you and this person at stalemate. Two of Wands, because you and this person both wants each other. Y'all both looking at each other. But it's like, it's at a lack right now. And it could be because of this person. It's like that stop and go energy. And then it's like they're trying to manipulate you. That's what I said. It's the way how this person operates. They want you to come to them. Just pray. They're not going to reach out to you. Who two swords in the emperor. Yeah, they're not. <clears throat> I'm telling you, they're not. It's, that's what I said. It's like this reassurance thing. It's like this person wants you to reassure them, but they don't reassure you. Y'all definitely going to have to help y'all person change the way that they do stuff. It's just the way they do stuff. King of swords. Not like change this person and be like, oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. No, like just you know how in a relationship when you get the date and somehow you gotta like tell someone what you will allow and what you won't allow if, if, if it makes any sense like if it's something this person do just open up and tell this person now maybe you gotta jump down their throat and be their mama and shit like that like just be the woman or the man that y'all need to each other And that's the thing, you don't trust this person because the way how they came off is very strategic. They just operate very strategically. So you think and feel this person being sneaky? Okay. Now for some of you, this person is sneaky. That's why I say y'all gotta take it where it resonates. Because not for not all of you, this person is cheating on you or have cheated on you or put people above you or over you. It's just this person got scared, so they felt as though their best energy is to stay away from you and run because they didn't understand this connection. But it's like slowly but surely, this person is understanding more and more about this connection and what it is and what it means to them, first and foremost, before this person even see what it means to y'all. You get what I'm saying? Because before you, you gotta learn yourself first and understand why you are this way before you even get in the divine connection with another divine being. 24, 24. Everybody would say it's like a demon and an angel coming together, but this person is not a demon. This period. I, I'm, I just want y'all to understand that. Because people going to be like, oh, this person is a demon. No, they're not. Okay. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Empress. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> this person also like how you take up for them. Yeah, they want to reciprocate now. Six of Pentacles, the world card. That's what I'm saying. And then we got the high priestess. Here you go, Pisces. Hmm. 
Barbie. The devil card here. Judgment. With that strength card that came out and this devil, I'm telling you, this person is a beast. This is like beauty in the beast. I keep getting that. Because you're the only one that can tame this person and control them. This person probably be on a rampant with everybody else. Here we go with the hair fire. Again, this y'all person, man. Can't stress this enough. What's this seven of swords? Like, it might feel like it's a trap that this person is wanting you to come back to one, but it's not. Okay? It's hoping you and this person here. That's why I say, if y'all ever wonder why y'all keep going back to somebody or keep thinking of somebody, yeah, it might seem like it's toxic or you keep going in a toxic cycle. For some of you, it's not a toxic cycle because this person not really engaging or dealing with nobody. They might be around people or whatever this person might sleep with somebody or whatever they be doing. You get what I'm saying? But it's not to the point to where though their emotions are in it. Their emotions are with you. <laughs> so even if this person wants to move forward or take anything seriously, they can't because they always get guided and led back to you. That's that six of swords. That's what I'm saying. And this person is trying to like make sense of it. Like I'm trying to get like that's I could just hear somebody like I'm trying to get the fuck away. From, like not like that. Like I'm trying to get this bitch out of my mind or something. Like I'm just saying because I don't want nobody to be like, damn, he be calling me a bitch. Look, we all know how these masculines talk. Even you, divine, I'm trying to stop capping. It's just you know how when you just speak and you just talk and you just go off of how you feeling. You're like, man, why I can't get shorty out of my head? Or why I can't leave shorty alone? Or why? I'm trying to, like, do other shit and shorty just keep popping up. Or he keep popping up and this, that, and third. That's because this is your person, man. You cannot run from what you already know. I feel like the divine feminists are in the running energy because y'all had enough of that shit. Like, y'all don't... Y'all had enough of the waiting and the sitting around and the procrastinating and the trying to get, like, y'all just had enough. I don't know what else to say. Okay. That's why I said when this person act like this in the seven of swords, it's just their inner child wanting to play with your inner child. <clears throat> so this person come off as very immature. It's just how this person is programmed, y'all. Y'all got to understand. I can't... I try to explain it enough with this person. So y'all can understand this person more. And why y'all person is the way that they are. So when you thinking this person is being sneaky or, or strategic or whatever, or like just cheating or doing whatever they doing, no. Because this person inner child is always connected with you. It's like you and this person is always playing spiritually together. Even if this person is at a distance from you or far away from you. As I said, this person can't leave you alone. They can barely get you out of their damn head. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> you can't get the you can't get this person out y'all here neither. I told you this person is by themselves. They're alone now in the pen. Some of the cubs, yes, they do have other suitors or other options or whatever. Okay, male or female. But I really I feel like it's the masculine. Because for the feminine, y'all just been focusing on yourself, focusing on your bag and taking leaps of faith towards new opportunities and new beginnings. I don't really think y'all is really giving y'all energy towards love. Because after this person that y'all have separated from or been separated from for a while, it's just like, see, that's the thing. When you are a divine feminine and you leave from one connection, you don't jump to another connection. You actually take time to heal from that person. Like residue do linger from people. And then it's like you go to another situation and you wonder why your mind, body, and soul ain't leave from this person yet because it wasn't meant to. 2929, like some people really need to take their time before they jump into dealing with other people or laying down and sleeping with other people. Like, energy transference is real. And just imagine if this person was, like, trying to fuck around or do different things to get you out of their mind. And they wonder why, when they are fucking other people, they're thinking of you or saying your name or something. You get what I'm saying? That's because it wasn't meant for this person to go nowhere else. We got the tower. Like, every time you choose to date someone else and talk to look, that's the truth. Pisces, everything I'm saying is facts. 
Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, the High Priest is in the Tower. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why this person is being haunted or tortured by you or they feel like it. Two of Pentacles. Maybe they be trying to brush it off, but they still be longing for you at a distance. It's going to always be that way until this person understands why you and this person was meant to be together or sent to be together. Or why you and this person met. Like, that's it and that's all. What's this Tower card? And that's the thing. For some of you, this these masculines came towards y'all. Because I don't think that's how you knew this person knew who they was. <laughs> this person knew who you were, bruh. Just think about it. Because masculines take action. Masculines pursue. Masculines chase. It's not feminists chase and feminists do and feminists boo and do, 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 do. No, that's what the masculines do. You go towards your feminine. Period. That's how that shit work. That's how I said this person knew he was a divine masculine. This person came to you. They knew who you were, but they still was just like seeing blurred lines. Like they couldn't really understand why they were so attracted to you or why they wanted to be with you or why this, that, and the third. Like this person just didn't understand. They thought like, oh, I'm meeting you because I need some fun <laughs> or I need more female friends or I need new pussy. You hear what I'm saying? Like, no, bucko, that's not how that was. Yeah, you gonna have new pussy or whatever the case may be, but you still gotta learn why you, why y'all in each other's lives, okay? Because it was for a reason. You and this person had shit to do. This period. So, yeah, I hope this helped, Pisces. I hope y'all get it a little bit, okay? Because you came to your feminine first, bucko. You got to know that. So keep that same energy. You can't stop being your masculine self towards your feminine because you're in your feelings, bruh. That's how you get out of your feelings and you face your fears. Because you got to trust yourself more. That's all it is, Pisces. You got to trust yourself more. Until you trust yourself more, you ain't going to be afraid to just pop up at your feminine door. Like, what? If it's yours and you want it to be yours, make that shit. Stand on that shit. Like, what? Hold on, bitch. You ain't about to play with me. Fuck you mean. Like, you think you just go up and leave. Like, oh, you think it's like you got to stand in your masculine energy. Like, stand in your power. Don't dim yourself or, or, or like, stop trying to be that fiery person that you always been because what other people were saying. Like, other people saying, oh, you need to just leave that girl alone. Or leave him alone. Or, like, why are you so head over heels for that person? You barely even know that person. You just met that person. Like, people not going to understand. That's not for them to understand. What's, underst what's, ex what's understood don't need to be explained to everybody. It's just if you say that this person is who you want, that's why God is pressing you because they want to see if you're going to stand on your integrity. Okay? And stop lying to yourself because for some of you masculines, y'all lying to yourself. Okay, y'all just saying shit to fit in with other people. That's why I say it's the company you keep. You around the wrong people. Okay, or whoever. Take it where it resonates. Y'all know who y'all be around that just don't be no good for y'all. 33, 33. And because y'all afraid of how other people is going to see you when it comes to love. Like, okay, and you in love. These motherfuckers just mad because they ain't find love. Well, they not in love. Like, you can't do that to nobody. Like, let people be happy. Like, People don't want people to be happy though. Like if somebody in love, let them be fucking in love. Just pray. Cause this person is gonna be around y'all like this, and y'all gonna be like, son, what's wrong, cuz? Like, lighten the fuck up, bruh. And this person is like, no. Because everybody's telling me to stay away from the person I wanna be around. Like that shit ain't fun. That shit ain't cool. And I'm getting hot. That's how you know I'm channeling this person energy. It's like everybody telling this person, oh, you need to stay away from them. Or don't go around them or stop talking to them. And this person like, bro, why I got to stay away from somebody that I really, truly love? Like, what? That's why somebody is like, I ain't about to keep holding this in for too long. I'm going to publicly make this known. All right, Pisces, this y'all message. I love you guys so very much because your person is making me overheat. Like, share, comment, this with a subscribe, and hit that bell. Peace.